What is up guys, it is AJ and today is a video talking about a rumored fight. It's not a guarantee that we're going to see it, but it's worth noting. Kevin Lee, Mike Perry, potentially for UFC 264 McGregor versus Poirier 3, which I mean it would definitely add some heat to the card. Kevin Lee, Mike Perry, fairly notable names, but as... We've seen Mike Perry is on a significant decline, two tough losses in a row to Tim Means and also Daniel Rodriguez in the last one. I mean, Mike Perry has not looked great in a fair amount of time and his best game at this point is probably taking fights to the ground and looking towards submissions. You look at Kevin Lee on the other side, sure lost to Charles Oliveira a bit over a year ago. Uh, it was actually before the pandemic started. It was actually right as it began, and they took out the fans for the first event that was in Brazil. He got submitted by Charles Oliveira at lightweight, but Oliveira now going towards the world title fighting for the belt. No shame in that. Prior to that, he actually knocked out Gregor Gillespie with a devastating head kick. He's going up to 170 once again. He, he plans, this Kevin Lee, plans to fight at 170 for the foreseeable future. I don't really love the idea of that. He's going to be outmatched against certain opponents there. He's going to be undersized. We saw how he fought against Rafael Dos Anjos, who was definitely, we can agree, top flight competition at welterweight. What is he, top eight, top nine, top seven maybe, maybe even top six? Kevin Lee is not going to beat the upper echelon of guys. I don't even think if he fought Michael Chiesa again, he'd win that fight at 170. Chiesa's going to be way too big. I don't really understand why Lee feels the need to fight at 170, I do understand the weight cutting problem that he has to 155. I do think if he really dials in, he can get it right. And I see his potential is much higher at 155 pounds than 170. But I guess it's something we're going to have to deal with. But odd that he chooses to call out Mike Perry, who's on a two-fight losing streak. His one win as of recent is against Mickey Gall. He's lost to lower level guys time and time again. Mike Perry is a fan-friendly fighter. But man, he's by no means a contender. I do believe this is a Kevin Lee mind game to try to maybe get an easier bout. Let's talk about actually what will happen. Because when this fight does go down, if it does go down, of course Mike Perry is going to show up and bring his best game. He's a pretty strong man. He's decent with his grappling. He's going to look to move forward and mix it up with the hands. Kevin Lee definitely has the more technical kickboxing at this point. And also, Mike Perry is extremely hittable down the center line. Not a ton of head movement. And he's looking extremely stiff the longer and longer his career seems to go. I know he's had issues with coaches and whatnot. I just feel like this is asking for disaster here against Kevin Lee. Now, I'm not thinking, you know, Kevin Lee, uh, the greatest striker of all time. Sure, he's not. He's definitely not. He's a decent striker. Kickboxing style does have a pretty nasty head kick. He put Gillespie down. But how many times is he ever going to land that? Maybe once ever throughout his entire career. Okay hands. Decently long reach, was, which will be a factor uh, fighting off against Mike Perry. I do think you're going to see Lee looking to mix in the wrestling. I think he'll be successful there. I don't think Mike Perry is going to be able to out-wrestle Kevin Lee. Even though his jiu-jitsu and his wrestling game is pretty good. I mean, he's very physically strong. Still, I think that this is going to be Kevin Lee's fight, I will say. Maybe in defeat. Mike Perry may somehow raise his stock, but I think the stock of Lee can really only go down for this performance here. I think Kevin Lee probably grinds towards winning this fight by a unanimous decision. I think Mike Perry's going to be in his face and down for a good scrap. I think Lee's going to look to wrestle, maybe kickbox a bit. I still think Kevin Lee superior overall to Mike Perry skill for skill wise, but he's not at the same physical size as Mike Perry will be when they step in there. Sure, even Kevin Lee bulking up to 170, not cutting as much weight. Mike Perry just a naturally bigger human being. Probably has a slight physical strength advantage, maybe, but the, the wrestling skill will cancel out that physical strength advantage. And that's why I see Kevin Lee grinding towards a decision. But man, I hate the matchmaking. I don't want to see this fight. Kevin Lee's taking an easy matchup. He's, uh, in my opinion, Kevin Lee is still a top 15 guy at lightweight. Not a top 15 guy at welterweight, but maybe can work towards it. Fighting Mike Perry as your return to the welterweight division, I think, is lowballing. I think it's, it's grabbing at hanging fruit. I don't think that it's a great matchup. I'm not super interested in this fight. I'd rather see Mike Perry fight somebody else uh, that maybe could deliver a you know, more competitive bout, a more fan-friendly bout. I feel like that this is just Kevin Lee looking for a W here. He knows a guy like Perry is going to come to fight and be willing to take it. 
That's why Kevin Lee chose to call him out. He's moving up to 170. We got Kevin Lee winning the fight, but as I said, not a fan of this matchmaking. I don't like this fight. And as a guy who's a fan of Mike Perry, I would prefer he fight somebody else at a lower level, but probably not what we're going to see. I do believe this fight will end up actually being confirmed as of right now. Just a rumor. Kevin Lee grinds towards a decision win, and I do believe he will be the favorite as well when the lines do open up. That is pretty much it for this quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you smash that like button subscribe to the channel too and also follow my social media instagram twitter and tiktok and i will see you all in the next video